Hello everyone and welcome. I want to thank you very much for taking time out of your busy day to check out this video. We're going to review together a company that's going public, right? But before I get to that company, guys, I did say that lately I will start showing you guys stocks that I do videos on stocks that well in particular stocks that i say that i'm going to buy right and um then i will continue and show you the progress in the investments that i made on those stocks that i made videos about and told you the reasons why that i would buy right so first before we get to the ipo guys gen digital incorporation i had said it was a buy for me personally speaking i said i would buy 100 shares i made that video it was at 1748 and now my investment is at $391 right now. So we're standing at $391, bought at $1739. It's at $2130 as I'm doing the video right now. And yeah, 100 shares, we're up 22%. The other one is, again, another YouTube video that I made for you guys. And that was for Universal Insurance Holding Group Incorporation, take a symbol UVE. And I said we'd buy 100 shares, right? We are right now on this one. Well, I am actually. Um, I'm up 1.96 percent. I'm plus 33 US dollars, and uh, that's I think another great one also. Right? And I think I'm gonna do very well on that. Um, like I'm, on uh, Gen, I'm up nearly 400 bucks, and I believe that on this one also I'll be soon up 400 bucks on that also. So very happy about both of these, and I had done YouTube videos about them recently, right? Now let's move on, guys. To by the way, if you want to join, if you want, you don't have to. I'm just, but I'm just putting it out there. If you want, um, my Discord is on Patreon, so you can. I mean, you go through Patreon. It's Patreon.com/slash/BullMarketWatch. If you want to join us, you not only have access to what I buy and sell, which should not be your top priority. I think that uh, the other things are nice also that you should think about. That you're getting access to all the latest news, categorized by SEC filing safety approvals, uh, dark pool for example everything at the fastest speed possible before it even hits your broker you'll have access to all the news which helps you become a better trader and uh, you'll have, you also have access to dark pool which is a huge thing nobody gives dark pool for 1790 you can get it for as low as 990 on my discord all right guys let's go real quick to metros development company ltd because they're going public on december 1st Take a symbol MTRS. So let's learn real quick some things about this company. This company, guys, is a Japanese company. All right, so it's based in Japan. Take a symbol, like I said, MTRS. What you see here on the right side is if you use Weibo, you can pre-order it if you want to. I'm not saying you should. The price range will be eight bucks. The shares that they're going to issue is 1.8 million. So Metro's development has filed for a, an approximately about 16 million dollar IPO. The company operates as a real estate property acquired and reseller in Japan. So they acquire real estate and they resell it. The company's chief executive officer is Mr. Yoshihiro Koshiba, who has been with the company since 2016. They acquired land or, or buildings to resell and they have received so far $469,000 from investors, including K Asset Company. Now let's take a look at the total revenue of the company. In 2022, they had 309 million. And in 2023, for the first six months, 291 million. So they're doing very well. As far as gross profit loss, they went from 68 to 123 million and the gross margins on an average of about 25 percent the operating profit loss goes from 27 million to 61 million to 43 million the first six months of 2023 comprehensive income loss goes from 9 million to 20 million and the cash flow from operations goes from 23 to 45 million this company has 34 million dollars in cash they have 145 million total liabilities and their free cash flow is positive 10.9 million dollars the underwriter is boston securities who was a very well-known underwriter for bringing ipos that would pop on day one back in 2022 back in 2021 but in 2023 boston securities pretty much sucks they really haven't brought anything that was actually useful and would pop on day one. I personally think that it's best, personally speaking, for me that I would stay out of this and I am not going to pre-order this no matter what it does. Um, you know, if it pops, oh well. But I think that just to be safe because I'm not really bullish on this, I am going to stay on the sidelines. Thank you very much for watching this video, everyone, and take care.